Hey everyone, it's Flagfire. I'm excited to begin a new historical series on Battlefield 1, especially with the recent positive changes to battle packs. Welcome to Episode 1 of Under the Skin, where I take a look at some of the camouflage names in Battlefield 1 and explain their historical origins. Today, I'm looking at the Lone Pine Distinguished skin for the SMLE, the Houtier Legendary skin for the MP18, the Blue Devil Legendary skin for the M1907 SL, the Seaforth Highlander Legendary skin for the Hewitt, the Hummingbird Legendary skin for the Calibri, and the Korzymiesk Distinguished skin for the Artillery Truck. Although many of these names seem rather arbitrary or ordinary, some have quite interesting backgrounds that shed light on conflicts in World War I, or might even hint at future Battlefield 1 content. The Lone Pine skin for the SMLE is a nod to an important location during the Gallipoli invasion. As part of the invasion in April 1915, the Australians were landed at Anzac Cove, north of the landings at Cape Helles, which is portrayed in Battlefield 1 single-player mission The Runner. Lone Pine is located southeast of Anzac Cove. The Battle of Lone Pine took place August 6 to the 10th in 1915 and was a diversionary attack to tie up Ottoman troops and weaken their positions at other objectives to the north. The Australians captured the Ottoman trench line at Lone Pine, but the assault on the August offensive's primary objectives was largely a failure. The location of Lone Pine was named after a single pine tree standing at the spot before the fighting began. Meanwhile, the Houtier skin for the MP-18 in Battlefield 1 is named after German General Oskar von Houtier, who employed newly developed assault and infiltration tactics in his offensives throughout World War I. These tactics saw Houtier's Sturmtruppen advance under a creeping barrage, infiltrate weak points in the lines, and then neutralize high-priority targets like headquarters or artillery concentrations. Avoiding open combat unless necessary, these soldiers were very focused on completing their mission objectives, which makes the PTFO inscription on the stock of the weapon a little bit of a historical Easter egg. Interestingly, Houtier also commanded Operation Albion, the invasion of the Estonian archipelago, which appears in the upcoming Russian DLC in the name of the Tsar. The Houtier skin in Battlefield 1 was awarded as part of a Battlefield community mission. The Blue Devil skin for the M1907SL is named after the French Chasseurs Alpins, or Alpine Hunters. These elite mountain infantry served the French army well in World War I, thwarting the Germans during the Battle of Frontiers in the Vosges at the outbreak of the war. Experts in mountain warfare, the forests of the Vosges Mountains proved a perfect fit for the Alpine hunters, and it was allegedly their tenacity in battle that led to the Germans calling them the Blue Devils. The Blue Devils are well known for their large berets, which are still worn to this day. When They Shall Not Pass was announced for Battlefield 1, I'd hoped to see these soldiers represented in the Scout class uniform. The Seaforth Highlander skin for the Hewitt Automatic Rifle probably takes its name from the Seaforth Highlanders of Canada. The regiment fought at some of the most harrowing battles in World War I, including the infamous battles of the Somme and Vimy Ridge. The Seaforth Highlanders actually had ties to the development of the Hewitt during the war, Seaforth Highlander Major Robert Mills supervised the construction of the finished version of the Hewitt automatic rifle at the factory. Although there is also the Seaforth Highlanders Regiment of the British Army, the Hewitt itself is adapted from the Ross rifle, which was the standard Canadian infantry weapon of World War I. The Hummingbird skin for the Calibri, meanwhile, is a fun play on words for those familiar with the German language. When translated, the word Colibri literally means hummingbird. The name suits the weapon's diminutive design as it fired the smallest centerfire cartridge ever mass-produced, which was a mere 2.7 millimeters in size. It was designed by an Austrian watchmaker. Lastly, we have the Korzemiesk skin for the artillery truck. The name denotes it is from the region of Korzeme, which is in modern-day Latvia. Interestingly, the skin's camouflage design isn't actually random. It actually mirrors a design seen on a Putilov Garford truck bearing the same name. The truck itself served in revolutionary conflicts post-World War I, receiving its signature paint job sometime in the 1920s. 
the decision to include the name and camouflage in Battlefield 1 may have actually been more than a coincidence. The Poodle of Garford truck is of course included in Battlefield 1's In the Name of the Tsar DLC, which is due out later this summer, so some foreshadowing there. The weapon and vehicle skins in Battlefield 1 are one of my favorite aspects of the game. With the recent change to the battle pack system in Battlefield 1, hopefully we'll be seeing more of them. I love the clever references to real-world events, places, and people, so I'm looking forward to sharing more of these examples with you in future episodes of Under the Skin. What are your thoughts on the skins detailed here? Which is your favorite? And what are some I should cover next? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share on websites like Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe for more Battlefield 1 content. To take your Battlefield 1 game to the next level, check out the Battlefield 1 Ultimate Utility app with a link in the video description. Thanks for watching.